What's going on YouTube? This is Seha Man back with another figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the DC Direct. This is the Justice League New 52 Green Lantern. Um, this is the, I think the, what, the second or third figure that's released by the this new DC Direct New 52 series. Um, I showed you guys the Batman one a while back and then this one was released alongside with Aquaman. Uh, it's a pretty nice figure. The packaging is the same as the Batman one except the uh, coloring is green. You can see it's got the DC Collectibles logo on the top left. Really nice. The figure looks pretty nice itself. If we look at the side of the package, we've got a nice little view of the figure. Sculpted by Jack Matthews. On the back, the other uh, figures from the series. Which I think I'm just going to end up getting uh, Superman and Wonder Woman. Maybe The Flash. This is what's coming out next. we got Justice League The Flash, August 2012. And Justice League Par Parademon that's coming out August 2012. I might get some of those. I might get some of those. August is, what, a day away. So... Those should be coming out pretty soon. So packaging is exactly the same. We got a nice little artwork here of uh, of Green Lantern, Hal Jordan there, with Batman beside him. You can see the ring, pretty nice. But this is a really cool looking figure. Um, what we're gonna go ahead and do is take a quick break, and we'll take a closer look at Hal Jordan. So stay tuned, guys. All right, so here we have Hal Jordan outside of the packaging. Uh, figure looks pretty nice, pretty nice. Not my favorite DC Direct Hal Jordan, but it's still pretty cool. You guys can get a. Uh, Full on look here. Get a close look at this guy all the way from top to bottom. We'll rotate him here from the back. Here he goes. Okay, so let's uh, set the camera down and we'll get a close look here. Um, I do, I do like the figure. Don't get me wrong, I do like it. Articulation is very weak on this guy, but overall he's a great figure. Um, he's got like a, if you guys can make it on the camera, he's got like a little bit of glittery color here on the black, which actually I do like. I think it's really cool. And he's got like this like stance going on where his shoulders are sticking out. His chest is sticking out and his shoulders back, which actually I think is really cool. It looks cool from the back. Um, the of course the Green Lantern logo, the mask I do like. I think the mask looks good. The hair is done well as well. The facial expression, I think it looks great. I think the head sculpt looks great. He's got the little collar going on there. Uh, little little details there in the um, in the uniform, which is pretty cool. He's got the white gloves. He's got the Green Lantern ring. Let me take a look if it's not. There's not much detail on it. It's just like a little blotch. So that sucks. And there you go, this hand here, the two fists, no waist articulation whatsoever on this guy. But, I mean, it's it's a really nice figure, don't get me wrong. I just think articulation is, like, lacking on this. And the black on the pants also has the um, that little glittery color to the black, which is really cool. There's the boots, there's the bottom of the feet. Now, let's go over the articulation. The uh, head can go up and down. Can rotate side to side. It can also tilt to the side. Arms can go in and out, forward and back. You can bend at the elbow. That's about it. Rotation in the arm. No waist articulation whatsoever. I don't even think the legs can even go forward and back. Yeah, they can't. Okay, just a little stiff. So the legs can go forward and back and a bend at the knee. So that's all you get. I mean, it's a DC Direct figure, so you guys already knew knew that. But it's a really nice figure. He's pretty slim. But I, I think he's a great, um, I like the, the the pose he's in. I just wish he had a little more articulation, but it's DC Direct. He's kind of a like a like a tall looking figure if you see that. He's a pretty tall looking figure, but nice at that. And I picked him up at my local uh, uh, comic book shop. I think it was $19.99 is the uh, price on this guy. But he's really cool. Pretty nice. Get a closer look at the head sculpt so you guys can take a look. You can see that there. I, I really do like the head sculpt, the detailing in the hair. I think it just looks great. This is this is it's nice for what it is. It's nice. The paint applications I don't have a problem with. So pretty cool. I like uh, I like the new look for um, Hal Jordan. And that's pretty much it, guys. 
Uh, this is Seha, man. Today we're taking a look at the DC Direct. This is the Justice League New 52 Green Lantern. I'm sorry my reviews have been kind of short lately. I've been really busy and I'm trying to get as many reviews as I can out there because I'm going to be pretty busy for the next couple of weeks. So, hope you guys are enjoying my reviews still. Alright guys, this is Seha, man. And we'll see you guys next time. Take care.